us away to the king and the oracle. How do I know I can trust you? Have you any other options? Only at the throne can the chosen receive it, and only at the cost of a life, his own. The king of kings shall be granted the power to banish the darkness, but the blood price must be paid. To cast out the usurper and usher in dawn's light will cost the life of the chosen. Ah! Lady Lunafreya came to her king's aid in his time of need. She was fulfilling her calling. Don't try to justify this. She didn't need to die. takes away his eyesight from him. Enhancement is worn off. Phew, wasn't that exhilarating? I think that's enough for one day. Huh? <sighs> oh, but come on, I was whooping his ass. He hardly moved. Unless he was playing with me, that is. an A rank. That was rather reckless. <laughs> Where's Noct? Is he... Is he... All right? More or less. All thanks to you. <sighs> Thank goodness. Be still. Consult. 
serve your strength. You've a calling to fulfill. Not! Iggy! As do I. May fortune favor us both. And you as well, Noctis. Forgive me. <clears throat> Back with us. I'll tell the others. Though it may take a bit. You're hurt. A oh, small sacrifice in the greater battle. And Luna? She has passed. Umbra left that for you. The stuff that Ignis went through for Noctis, holy shit. Ignis is just fucking amazing. Oh my god. Ignis is a real bro, I mean, oh my god. He really went through hell. He did something he was not supposed to do and suffered severely for it. Looking like he lost his eyesight. Oh yeah, he doesn't even know where he's at. He, he doesn't know what he's doing. He really is the best of the group. Ah, uh, how are you feeling? it might be best if we brought our journey to a close. Why? It's just that um, we've already lost so much. Too much. Are you kidding me? That's exactly why I have to keep going. Because if I give up now, their sacrifices would have been for nothing. And you... You of all people... You should know that better than anyone. <sighs> the decision is yours to make, and yours alone. 
But do remember, we will stand with you always and help you bear your burdens. Don't be afraid to let us share the load. I'll be back. Man, I hate to even hear poor Iggy sound like he's gonna cry. Dang. Huh. So that's the dark turn of the story there. I wouldn't even want that thing's help with how boring that fight was. <laughs> can't get over it. That fight was so bad. <laughs> Damn. I mean, what the fuck? That Leviathan fight was horrible. At the time of me recording this, I do know that chapter 10 is when you are allowed to do the Ignis story quest. So, depending on where that takes place, I may have already have maybe implemented it into this episode or something. But holy fuck! Oh, that Leviathan boss fight! Oh boy! I am a, Who knows? Maybe I'll have that after. I don't. I don't mm. Holy shit! I have never seen a boss look more cool and cinematic and then just be horrible. How could they... I don't... You know, I heard the game was rushed, but that... Mm. Well, you could feel it in there. Several weeks. Where are we? So, we're going to roll through Tenebrae. Not before visiting the royal tomb at Cartanico. Oh, uh, you're sure you're up to that? The wounds have mended. I say it's a matter of time. The hell is wrong with you? What? We're not stopping in Tenebrae. You need to grow up and get over it. I am over it. I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> Maybe when you're not too busy moping, you can look around and give a shit about someone worse off than you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! As that ring fit you, you rather carry it around than wear it? She gave her life so you could do your duty, not so you could sit around feeling sorry for yourself. You don't think whoa. I know that, don't. Ignis took one for you, too. And for what? Enough, Gladio. You think you're a king. But you're a coward. Shut up! Don't do this! I... Oh, prompto! I get it! 
Then get a grip. Pull your head out of your ass already. What the fuck? Gladio, what the fuck was that? Knocked! Leave him. What the fuck? Whoa! What? What the fuck was that? Why did he just act like that? I mean, fucking Nock can't even look at that ring without fucking wanting to have a panic attack. This isn't helping him. What the fuck? Yeah, Ignis is pretty fucked up, but... I mean, you're talking to who's supposed to be a king. No, he's got a fucking lot of worries, you know? What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh boy. I I don't know what to what to tell you. This shit just <sighs> Grounds Guard casual and unkept grounds guard. I quite like that one actually. Wow, unkept crowns guard really buffs his strength. Even though that is kind of him at his worst. Jesus, why the fuck did Gladio fucking go after him like that? It just wasn't fair. We'll be on foot in Gartanica. Those men in black are spooking me out. Shh, don't talk about others. I just... Why did Gladio fucking attack Noctis like that? Wait, Noctis, what are we suffering here? What the fuck, Gladio? Like, yeah, maybe Gladio's scared that the world is gonna get fucked over, but Jesus, man, talk about being pretty fucking selfish here. What a way to help out your Not brother. Not long, dear. I mean, Jesus Christ. This is just crazy. God. I saw the way you were looking at her. I wasn't looking at anyone. I swear that voice was familiar. I feel awful for poor Noctis. He's got his fucking friend turning on him at this point. What the hell? And Ignis suffers like hell for Noctis and... Jesus. High Commander Flore has been deemed accountable for Altitia's tragedy and sentenced to execution. Lord Ravis Nox Flore was promoted to the Imperial Army's top post amid the turmoil of the failed peace talks. The High Commander's primary responsibility was restoring stability to Lucis. Yet his campaign against the Hydrian ended in disaster, incurring monumental losses for the Empire and collateral damage to the area. In the wake of the Tide Mother's wrath, the government of Accordo has declared a state of national emergency. On behalf of the nation, I would like to express our relief that King Noctis has survived. The towering waves that swept over Altitia left great destruction in their wake. It will take time to rebuild our lives. That said, the damage done to our fair capital would have been far more severe were it not for the aid of the King and the Oracle. First Secretary Klaustra also pledged the government would continue its search for Lady Luna Freya, whose current whereabouts remain unknown. High Commander Flore has been deemed accountable for all tissues. 
In the wake... Hi, Commander. In the wake of the Tide Mother's wrath, the government of a court... Still no sign of Lady Luna Freya anywhere. It's not looking good. What I wouldn't give to see her again. Jesus, the game really does take a fucking turn for the worst at this point. God, no wonder people would. I saw comments of "Don't get on the boat." Purchase an arm and a leg for this slop. That's imperial quality for you. Should have let a chef from a quarto handle the catering. Man. to the dining car so you can feast your eyes on that other girl give me a break I i'm just hungry is all step closer to finding the next tomb. Please help me! Huh? Oh, please, sir. Could you help me look for Yelro, Jaro, Becky, and Joe? Help you look for who, 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 and who? My darling baby chocobos! I thought I'd take them on a trip to see the world, but now they're off seeing it without me. They can't have gone too far! They can barely flap their wings! Oh, they must be so scared! Won't you help me find them? Yeah, okay. Jeez. Yeah, now I've just got to find out where this royal tomb is. Look no further than the Fodina Castino. There should be an elevator leading down to the quarry from the station. Roger. Good luck, and hold your nose. What? Thanks for the advice, I guess. There's an elevator that should take us straight down to the mine. Wonder if the tomb's inside. Yeah, Those two went to grab a bite in that glorified dining car they call a restaurant. Welcome, boys. Feel real we bad for Prompto. I mean, he got pushed. Come again. That was unneeded. Hey, kid, help me out here. You probably already know how the quarry's closed off due to an unexplained accident. What you probably don't know, however, is that this journalist is looking to be the first to get the real scoop on the situation. The thing is, the quarry's crawling with ferocious beasts, and my pen is mightier than my sword. Well, actually, I don't have a sword. But you do. That's why I want you to go down there and take some photos on my behalf. First, I'll need three shots of that big machine while you're at it. I also need one of the abandoned shed down there. Thanks, kid. Not didn't even say anything. You can just demand it. I have to go find multiple different things down there. How am I supposed to catch runaway? Oh, stop! Stop! Gotcha. Listen, kid. You may be dead set on going down there, but you're set to end up dead if you do. Listen, kid. You may be dead set on... Welcome. Anyone see a chocobo in here? Grab some food before you go? I'm ready to take your order. What'll you boys be having? What if I tried to get to that we'll one before, but they wouldn't let me?
There you are. I can only sit here and imagine. I feel like Nox's attitude should have been a bit more still upset, even when just outside of the train and stuff. Like, he's still gonna help people, but he should still be doing it kind of like reluctantly. Being like, hmm, or just not talking like he did the second guy, mostly because the second guy wouldn't let him talk. some good news about Lady Linafreya before then. I hope she's okay. Me too. I'm hoping for another miracle. Is that fucking He's Noir's voice actress? She was in here with Noir? Damn. Oh, there's no way that little guy is all the way over here. Little guy's gonna have some big legs for a little guy if he came all the way out here. Ah. Wanna do your anime opening where the main characters run on like this? Gotta try and lighten the mood somehow, you know? After the game has just taken its turn for the worst. It's like, we're not a merry band of bros anymore. It's like, what the fuck? What, why did Gladio gotta get so mad about it? Why has he gotta be on Noctis' ass like this? Like, Noctis needs time to grieve. What, you really want him out here on the front line, sobbing and crying and fucking sitting there wanting to die? Then what are you going to get? Nothing, because he'll be dead. Is one of those little chicks out here or not? bottle my ass it's beautiful I got no idea where that lady's other chick could be Has it really ran off down here? Kind of the only other place it could have gone. Is that you? How did you get down here? Now, what are you doing? What the? I'll be with you in a second. That makes four. At least Noctis can still go and deliver babies. Oh, 
thank you. Aren't they just the cutest? They're the most adorable choco chicks in the world. Now that my babies are back, I ought to teach them a trick. Why not teach them to stick together? <sighs> Maybe someone ought to teach you some manners. It was a joke. I didn't mean to ruffle your feathers like that. Mm -mm. Damn. Well, it's getting night. And I'm sure my mom's got to be back from her walk any time now, so... That's gonna mostly be it for uh, at least the for the day for me. <laughs> it's the next day anyway, though. But basically, every time I go to sleep, the day ends. When I wake up, it's a new day. Except the world don't work like that. But to me, it can. So we gonna go to sleep, and we will continue this on the next day. Where is man? Gladio won't even share the fucking room with us. He is being such a fucking asshole. Cause every night I will save your life.